What's going on guys? Yeah, if you've been using Refroids, you've probably been doing it wrong. I'm going to show you what I think is the right way. So stay tuned, watch the video, this might help you out. Alright, what's going on everybody? So, this is my basic setup for Refroids. The directions are, for every 100 gallons of tank volume, you mix one teaspoon of Refroids. Okay? But there's a little trick to it. So at first, I used to just take the Refroids, put it in the thing of water, you know, like two cups of water, mix it around, and slowly dump it into the tank. And a lot of people have been asking me, you know, hey, your, your A-cans are humongous, and a couple of guys that have actually seen my tanks in person are like, dude, you're zoanthids and your trachees are you know super colorful what's your trick what's your secret and i show them and i figure you know what i'm gonna share my secret i'm sure other people have done it like this before but i haven't seen it and um i want to share with you guys how i do it and hopefully you can get the same results so my trick is is I, you put the teaspoon in and this syringe that i use that's all the water i use i don't use anything more i don't use like two cups of water um, you know, one cup of water, nothing like that. And I give it a good mix, stir it up as good as you can. You know, you could even let it sit in like a little uh, shot glass to make sure you don't have any sitting on the edge of the glass. But um, usually you're not gonna get it all anyway. So then what I like to do is, I like to draw it up into the syringe. What this is gonna do is this is gonna make it kind of thick and pasty and that's that's the trick you want it to be a thick consistency and in order to really make it work you want to shut off all the flow in your tank just kill everything so um, all these videos here that you guys are gonna see are not like some time-lapse stuff some of the coral react faster than others and some are super fast some are super slow but um, for anybody that have trachies you know I used to feed mine mysis and brine and ever since I've been using just the Refroids, they are huge, humongous, colorful, extremely happy. Um, and you can see here, you know, I kind of shake it a little bit as I as I push the stuff out, but you can see how it's heavy. See how it's like, it's not like thick like toothpaste, but it's thick to the point where it'll actually drop. Um, some of these pictures are a little blurry than others. Sorry, I was just trying to get a close up to show you guys how um, how the corals react to it. The A cans, every single A can, love it. Um, my Blasto, look at the size of this thing. It is huge. It's almost two inches in diameter. Just the one head, and I put a little bit of Refroids on there for him, and you'll actually be able to see him uh, slurp it up. It's crazy. So. Back to the A cans as my chromas just irritate them all. Just you know, I uh, I try to feed every single polyp of A cans that I have in my tank. Um, I do it with my upstairs tank and the downstairs uh, frag tank, and I have seen nothing but a hundred percent positive results. I used to do this with, you know, once a week and do mysis once a week and brine and I used to switch it all up, but I have been um, steady with only giving the corals the, um, the refroids. Now, at the end of, you know, feeding all your acans and trachees and whatever you have to feed, you're probably going to have some left in the syringe itself. So save that for later on in the evening when the lights go out in the tank, take a flashlight and you'll actually see things like um, candy cane corals and some of the favias and your war corals. And you'll see their nighttime sweepers come out. Um, if you want, shut the flow off again and feed them as well. And wait till you just, you know, do that for, you know, do it twice a week and do it for a month and just take some before and after pictures and you are going to be um, livid with the results. So, you know, it's important to 
obviously try to get every single thing you can but if you have a ridiculous amount of corals you don't want to have your tank shut off you know for uh, too long so get everything as quickly as you can but also take your time because if you're going to be hand feeding each coral um, you don't want to rush it you know you want to give everybody a good healthy you know bit of food and um, you know make sure they're all happy and the cool part is is if the the reefroids does fall out of their mouth or whatever this kind of stuff you can't really overdose your tank with it um, I use a teaspoon and I have exactly 64 gallons total volume of water and you know it doesn't all hit every single head and get eaten and some of it you know falls through and even once in a while when I see like a little uh, brittle star sticking out of the rocks I'll actually give them a little bit if there's a, a hermit crab or something that's getting a little too close you know and I don't want them ripping it out of the corals mouth I will give it to him as well um, you know reef roids does go a long way so you don't have to worry about it uh, you know using it all up I guess you could say um, in a short time I've had this jar of reef roids um, which is the four ounce container. I've had this since the end of June um, and it's now the end of December and I still have about half of it left. Um, so I would think that, you know, if you're using it once a week or twice a week, it's a good six month supply and it's usually like around $20, $25, maybe 30 at most for this size. So um, especially this Duncan, look at this thing. When I got it in October, it had two heads, and uh, this one here I've been giving reefroids a lot lately, and you can't even see the base or the body of it um, because the reefroids are just making this thing go. It's literally like it's on it's on steroids, um, and it's cool with this Duncan because you just sprinkle it all over the place. And especially this one here, it's got so many sweepers on it that it is going to grab it. And, um, you know, the only time my fish try to eat is when I'm feeding this Duncan. For some reason, they try to take all the reefroids out of it because the way I feed the Duncan, where I just spray it all over the place. Because it, it literally has so many itty bitty little baby heads all over the place. So, look at them. They're just animals. Obviously, they're animals, right? So, but... You know, it's, uh, Reefroids, I think, um, I bought by far my favorite coral food. They, uh, they have definitely shown me, um, results. You know, they showed me nothing but positive results. Good coloration on the coral, um, good growth rate. The size is, you know, ridiculous. See, look at all that reefroids that just fell. I'm not even worried about it because once I turn the flow on, it's going to get pushed around and other corals where it will most likely grab it and grip it. But I like this method because, you know, it gives them a good mouthful, you know. I don't want them to have to chase down these little tiny pieces or little particles to, um, you know, eat. But look at this one. This is this big, um, and I am working on a new, getting a new camera. I've been saying that for a long time, but like this rainbow A can right here, no justice with my cell phone camera. This thing is crazy colorful. And uh, the fungia, I have this nice um, fungia plate coral in the back there. I like to give this guy lots of it. Look at it, just nice and thick. So it falls just like that. And then once I'm done feeding everything, I usually still leave the flow off for about five minutes to give every everything just enough time to, you know, absorb it um, and get a grip on it. These two acans is a new little thing I just did. I'm hoping these guys are gonna grow out and meet up with each other and have uh, this cool looking rock here. But look at, um, look at it, he just, he just gulps it up. And um, another thing that I, another reason why I kind of like reefroids a little bit better than feeding it mysis is I believe that 
the rephroids is easier for the corals to digest because of the size of the particles compared to a solid piece of mysis. Um, and especially, you know, mushrooms. Let these guys literally will fold inside out and you won't even be able to see them because they're just sucking in so much of this stuff. So I usually feed the mushrooms and the trachees first to give them time to really close in and get everything. So, and the zoanthids, I like to just hit them with a good spray of it. They love it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I hope it is helpful and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.